Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this Kingdom Hearts action figure to open up and review with you guys. So here we have the Kingdom Hearts Axle figure. So here's the box. It's pretty basic. There's nothing really fancy about it. You can just see the character through the window and then it has the Kingdom Hearts logo. So this is from the first game and then it has his name there. And then on the sides, we have the clear film on the both sides and on the top there's a little window and then on the back it shows the other characters that you can get in this collection so we have the Mickey with Pluto and then we have Sora and this is um, by Diamond Select Toys they are the ones that make these figures so let's get him out and get a better look so I've been wanting this for a while so I'm kind of excited to see what quality is like. The picture looks really nice, but doesn't mean the character is going to be this nice. Um, Pretty easy to open, so that's a plus him over here for a second um when you open him you can't really see this but um because the packaging is blocking it but there is a design inside which looks like the clocks of twilight town that's what it looks like to me but yeah so there's those so let's look at axel here his hair well, let's just get his face first. Okay. He's got a... Once you... I mean, when you look at him, like, close up like this, his face looks so weird and awkward. I mean, it didn't look bad, but the paint just looks... Mm, not so great, but... Hey, what can you do? Um, His eyes are green. Then he's got this makeup around his eyes, which are magenta... And then his eyebrows are this really weird shade of magenta, but almost red. And he's got the little teardrops under his eyes, on his face, on both cheeks, just right underneath the eye. He's got pink lips. Not much of an expression, just kind of neutral, but it looks good. Dude looks like he's seen some things, and and he also kind of looks like he's in a boy band, like a Merlin Manson type of um, vibe going on here. Yeah, his hair, I love the sculpting on the hair. It's really, really nice. Do not like the color, because Axel's hair is not brown. His hair is red. Anybody that knows Axel knows his hair is red as well as his makeup. His eyebrows should be red and so should his teardrops under his eyes should be red. Um, yeah, but the sculpting is so nice though. I really like that. They did a great job. They even put the individual hairs in there, which is great. You can see his ears poking through his hair. He does have a nice um, sculpt on the um, neck. You can see some muscle detail right here. Um, just a little bit of indentation there. Not, not much. He does have a slight chest. Um, like you can tell that he's, you know, um, fit. Because you see how it kind of makes that curve right there on his chest. He does have black gloves on his hands. Both hands are black, just painted black. And he has black boots. And his signature black organization 13 robe, which does have some details right here. We have some painted on um, zipper going down the middle. And it even has like a fake actual zipper. And I like how the individual zipper pieces are actually separated and painted. And then he has the little tassels hanging down from the hood. 
which are painted silver as well. So they did a good job on the paints. No paint mess ups. He's got the fake pocket detail on the robes. Um, his his robe is open at the bottom. He always leaves it unzipped at the bottom. So that's nice that they actually got that detail right. He does have legs underneath, but you cannot see them because they are covered up by the robe. But he does have them. Um, yeah, he the robe is this really, really hard hard plastic and I don't like that I really wish they would have used rubber so that we could kind of move his robe around so that you could like pose him a little bit better he does have some movement of articulation we have his head which can rotate from side to side but it's very very stiff but yes he can rotate from side to side he can can he look up and down? Yeah, he can look down and he cannot look up, but he can look down not super far, but you can at least make him look like he's looking down at something. He has articulation at the shoulder, so he can go out. You can move his shoulder out and in. And he does have rotation here at the elbow, which can bend only at the elbow but not very far, so he can't go um, a full three, wait, he can do a full 360, right? Okay, let's see. No, that's his elbow, okay, yep. Yeah, he can do 360 right here. He does have it right here in between the um, the elbow joint and the um, arm, so yeah, he can, he can do a 360, and it bends right there, but the bend is very stiff. The hands can do a full 360 as well. His feet can move, so you can only pose his feet, but not the legs, and you cannot move the, um, the body does not move, so you cannot sit him down, which is unfortunate, which sucks. I really don't like that, because I like, I would really like to be able to play with him a lot, and just pose him, and do different fun activities and stuff with him, stories and stuff, but can't do that since... He's not very posable, but he's posable enough to where you can at least get some kind of activity from him, but yeah. So here's his weapons. We have the scythes. I think that's what these are called. They're sheaths. I want to say, I don't think sheaths is the right word, but siphons. I think they're siphons. Um, so these, these are little circular things with spikes on the end. Um, daggers, sorry, not spikes. Daggers on the ends, and the middle part is black, and then it goes silver to red, and it's a full circle. So he, he likes to throw these. This is his little throwing weapon. He has two of those, so he uses them both in combat. So that's pretty cool that he came with his weapons. Um, nothing too fancy there as far as his weapons, but they did do a great job painting the weapons, I will say. I, sorry about that, I'm trying to, I was going to put his weapon in his hand here to see if he can hold it properly, but his, his arm doesn't want to bend, so it's kind of, kind of hard to get him to hold it, and there, he can hold it, let's see, um, yeah, he can kind of hold them. He can, you can, you can make him hold them, but they don't stay on the way you would want them to stay on. Because if you're going to pose him, you know, to look like he's doing his little action pose with them. See how they, when you shake him, they're really, really loose. So they do not fit in his hand properly like they should. So that's unfortunate, but he does look really cool holding them. But he's really nice overall. I just don't understand why they gave him brown hair. It's just not right. I don't like that, but yeah, what can you do? I don't know if they have any other Axel figures available, um, but I'm going to see. I'm going to look it up and see if they have any other ones because I would like to get one that has better articulation, better face, and actual um, more accurate hair. Because the brown is just not doing it for me. Because my man, he had red hair. Come on now. 
He got to get him right. So there's Axel. He's super cute. And I got Roxas coming. I uh, have Roxas coming. He's coming soon, so I'll do a review on him as well. And then I'll compare him and Axel together since they're best buds. A.K.A. Low-key lovers. <laughs> For those of you who don't know. Um, yeah, best buds, low-key lovers. Yep, yep. So yes, and um, so I gotta get I gotta get Roxas because I have Axel. He needs his he needs his second hand man over here. So if you look at him from the side, he kind of has a feminine look about him. I don't like that because the lips are so pink. Like it looks like he's wearing lipstick, and the fact that he looks like he's wearing makeup, not a fan. Not a fan of that at all. But his leg though, his his ankle like. It's so weird. I don't know why they chose to do that. It's just... He shouldn't be standing like that. He looks like he dislocated his ankle. It's just not right. But, okay. But there he is. It keeps not focusing. But there's Axel. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like videos like these. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!